Hi there, my name is David Morey and I wanted to do a quick overview of the Shlivakti drainage and how it relates to the flooding we've had in South Galway in recent times. What I want to do first of all is give you a quick introduction to the Shlivakti Mountains. They're located in Galway, uh, Galway Clear Border, um, and there are two main type of drainage flows are westerly to the sea in Kinvara and also the drain into the Shannon. Uh, the area we're going to be looking at is the western drainage which flows through a lot of limestone karst area and has a lot of um, different dynamics that we wouldn't typically associate with, with um, drainage in the rest of Ireland, like the Shannon, etc. So we're going to, if we zoom into the area, we can see that, I suppose, just to give a bit of um, a positioning on this, uh, the Shlifochtis are the south of Loch Ray, uh, they're beside Peter's Well, uh, Gort, Cool Park and Kinvara. If you're driving down from uh, from Galway, Kilcolgan, you'll be able to see the Shlivaktis in the distance, in particular the windmills, you'll see them up on the up on the hill. Um, I suppose the main area itself is a type of uh, red sandstone, old red sandstone, and the area to the west of it is carcified limestone, and this has a lot of different features like uh, caves, swallow holes, um, and there's a lot of uh, different dynamics that the, this brings to the whole drainage of the area. Okay, if we look at the main flows from the Shlivakti, there's three main flows that we see. There is the Own Shri flow, the Bolinin Dorish flow, or Balili flow, and also the Own Dalula, or Beha, or Gort flows. Um, so these flow westerly. Um, what they happen is they, they go underground initially into Kiltartan. That goes underground once more into Cool. Um, and cool then sinks underground into the sea in, in several different places. One flow goes over as far as uh, Corner Roo, which is about 11 kilometers from cool, and others go into Kinvara Bay, both into the western, central, and eastern, even around Dungura Castle areas there. One other aspect to this discussion, as well as come up in recent times, is there's a new motorway going through uh, this area, so we have to be very careful and considerate in its construction. Otherwise, as you can see, it's going through quite a critical point there that um, that we need to consider. The other dynamics here are that really you can see that there's there's a huge distance to the sea and therefore, you know, any massive rainfall that we get in the Schlieffachty is going to, if it has trouble, it's uh, getting to the sea. There's a lot of um, areas that are going to be in trouble because it's going to have to find a path overland. So if we take a closer look at the Owen Shree flow, first of all, this is happens in the north of the of the Shlivaktis, close, very close to Loch Ray. And it's amazing that if you're driving over the Seven Eye Bridge uh, in Kilcreast area here, um, you know, that flow that's going on there is going all the way uh, into Cool, which is quite a distance away. And as I said, it passes uh, passes via Kiltartan. Um, this river flows into um, uh, black rock, but this typically is a thurlock, so, so there are underground passages that they reckon that flow to the sea at Dundur Castle. And again, this cause may go close to Laban as well, which we've all heard of in the news. Um, but again, during um, when the rains get heavy, this will actually continue underground to Loch Coy here and also underground towards the next river section, which is the Bolinin Dorish or the Bellili. Areas. So this happens on, you could say, the mid of the Shlivaktis here. It flows um, down into Balili. It flows by Balili Castle. And then it goes uh, left or, or south um, here. So there's a south type of um, underground flow and there's a north underground flow um, or swallow holes. And these flow down towards Kiltartan. And then the last section of the river is the Ondalula. Beha Gort River, and what this does is this flows from the Derry Brine type area. It flows into La Coutre, flows out of La Coutre, flows down into the Punch Bowl underground, pops up again in Canahoun, flows into Gort, Gort Bridge, uh, down Caninsha, and then into Castle Down, where it goes again underground into Kiltartan. So we've said Kiltartan before is the pinch point. Behind the church that we see flooded all the time um, is uh, a rise there is called Pol Dilin, 
and the water comes out of there it comes from the two underground rivers and it flows for a very short distance before it goes underground again it has to go underground cool ridge as it's called and that's where actually the motorway is being built over at the moment um in this particular area uh, it goes under that ridge and into cool so it comes out again in cool it's cool river cool rise and it flows into cool lake and again this is this is actually lake is kind of a big base it's the main basin in the area the main big turlock it can really really swell its size during the winter months um, so from cool there's also other flows that may come we've heard of flows coming from Ballylee directly over to cool um, so there are other paths of these rivers as well but what i've shown you there is the main flow so we take cool lake and we go completely underground to the sea and that is done via a few different areas first of all there's flows out to cahar on lake um, and it can go into convert in different areas as we can see so again quite a very complex area in some ways but when we distill it down we can we can see um, some of the main dynamics of this area there are of course additional flows that i haven't put on the map finally we have if we look at our winter levels we see that the cool basin can uh, expand significantly in fact in winter levels most of the thurlocks levels rise um, there is a, such a big flow that the the thurlocks um, they can't sink all the water they expand until the pressure equalizes and therefore we get this type of balance system all the way through from black rock thurlock to loch Coy, to Ballyly cool car glisson car more car and all of those um they fill up but they don't overflow so this means that the water in in, in standard winter levels the water will maintain its flow underground so what we're going to look at next is what happens with severe winter rainfall 